One of the uh, big challenges, I think, of uh, translating Beowulf is uh, the gnomic passages in it. These are the passages which state things which the author considers to be absolutely inflexibly true, like um, uh, it is better for every nobleman to suffer death rather than a life of shame. And that's that and no argument. Well, uh, people understand that kind of thing fairly well because it's you know, not much arguing about it. But they often find other things really rather difficult. Um, for instance, uh, early on in the poem, uh, the poet says, um, uh, uh, well, uh, 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 he, he is saying that uh, a person gets on in every society through lofderdom. And this is normally translated as uh, praiseworthy deeds. So the gnomic passage comes out as something like uh, praiseworthy deeds lead to success uh, among all peoples. But if you think that, you must be out of your mind. It's, that's not the way that uh, you get success among all people. Just think about the major politicians and celebrities you know. Did they actually get there by praiseworthy deeds? No, they did not. All right, so let's forget that. If the poet said that, then he was uh, naive, to say the least. And, of course, he didn't say that. Um, if you understand properly you know that he is saying what he has in fact just said. He's just said that a young man ought to buy loyalty while his father is alive because he'll need it later. And what he then clinches that with is the saying, deeds of generosity. By deeds of generosity, someone will succeed in every people, which you could translate actually in a very demotic way in English as Everybody loves a bung. A bung in British English being a bribe, a backhander, a sweetener, a generous deed, shall we say. So actually, what I'm saying is the Beowulf poet was not as naive as people make him out to be. He was, in fact, really rather hard-headed. And uh, that's something that we have to see was true even in a heroic society not like our own.